skunk lifestyle what go on big up to everybody out there in vlogland so you don't know in today's vlog we're going to be doing a feature on the 2023 kia sorento and trust me i have some great reviews and honest reviews of what i thought about that vehicle also my brethren lauren brought his e63 mg first to wrap it and trust me we got some pulls in it and some mad vibes from that as well so you can stay tuned for that yo i just want to share something with y'all your peeps we've been working 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 busy so now i want you guys to know that you can use the skunk lifestyle code listed right here at any burst location to get 15 percent off you heard what i said 15 percent off is that what i said so you just walk up into the birds tell them the unique code skunk lifestyle and you don't know save some money so yeah we'll get into the program big up to everybody out there in vlogland you don't know the vibes respect for rocking with us and hope you like this episode well skunk lifestyle what's going on so yo listen we're on a journey today we're heading out to portland and yo i decided to yo take a test drive off of the 2023 kia sorento so big up to the entire kia team for this one you don't know the vibe so here's the machine for today we'll be rolling this out i'll give you my full scoop and review on it let you know how it took on the jamaican roads how it took on the portland roads and i'll be giving you a couple scenery shots with it so you don't know the vibe we're gonna head into it now big up to the kia team as always the entire atl automotive team you don't know kevin jackson and the entire crew so look out for this one So I want to give you my review on this 2023 Kia Sorento. Yo, trust me. Let me just give you a quick walkthrough inside. All right, so here you can see it's full leather. I mean, very nice. It's not bad at all. The leather is nice. The trims are nice. This is like a brush metal right here. The dash is full digital, which is what I like. Touch screen display. We're talking about a panoramic sunroof all the way from front to back. It comes with different driving modes so we have comfort eco sport and smart the seats are actually air conditioned all right so these actually have air conditioned seats it's an actually neat feature that i saw that it had because earlier i had a passenger in there and i wanted them to move back so instead of me saying yo toggle the switch over there it actually has a switch on the side here that you can move it back and forth and recline and decline depending on if you're in the vehicle by yourself has nice LED dome lights up here but here's a key feature that I like it actually has what you call a blind spot assist so when you're driving you turn on the indicator to the right you see the camera pop up to the right right there if I turn it left it will give us the blind spot on the left side which is a pretty neat feature let's talk about switching through the displays we're in smart now sport comes with a different display eco is another display which you know eco gives that electric vibe as you can see so it's i guess saving mode and then there is comfort so every mode has a different look to the display i mean overall it's a nice interior and stuff like that i'll give you a quick walk around of outside all right lifestyle so this is it right here you know i we just picked it up from the dealer on friday and you know i decided to take it to portland what better way to test this all-wheel drive SUV, right? So this is the 2023 Kia Sorento. And trust me, when I tell you this machine, it's really nice. All right, so lifestyle, let me show you a key feature about this Kia Sorento, right? So the fob, I'm going to put it in my pocket. And literally, I'm going to walk up to the trunk. It actually has a feature that detects when I'm close to the trunk and opens. So watch it. So if I have bags or something like that in my hand and I can't get to access my key, this is a wicked feature that it has as well, isn't it? And oh, yo, Ford, look on the trunk space in there. Like it has a good amount of trunk space, as you can see. Can turn back a little bit. Yep, so it has a lot of trunk space. I mean, trust me. So yo, right now, we're going to jump into another segment where I'm going to give you 
a review on it while we're driving on the road with one of my bedroom them so he will give you an honest review as well all right lifestyle so you know the vibe this summer bridging pier you see me we roll on to portland this weekend and <clears throat> i decided to bring him along for the cruise in this 2023 sorrento so he doesn't know anything about it i brought him as uh basically a neutral person in the automotive game and i wanted his review and his take on it so i'm gonna drive now and we're gonna chit chat a little bit we're not gonna make this segment too long so first of all Pierre, what's your driving experience like in this 2023 sorrento well this the sorrento far exceeded my expectations far far exceeded the ride is luxurious it's very smooth and i like it what's the features that you, that, that you see me use so far that you like about it well I like that when the fact that when you turn on the, the indicators, yeah, that gives you a rear view, a, a rear side view of the vehicle. The blind so spot assist. Blind spot assist, so that no cyclers or unexpected vehicles or pedestrians can can walk up and surprise you. Yeah, that's one of the amazing features that I've seen, and I also like the different modes that you can put the car in. Yeah, Sports that looks neat and, still. Yeah. With the digital dash um, switching. Right. Yeah, I know you'd like that feature. Alright, so I mean that's his that's that's your review, right? So what would you give it on a scale of one to ten? Yeah, on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it an eight. Um it, it, it definitely deserves rare reviews and you know I give it a thumbs up. I'd recommend it to anybody. Alright, so I'm gonna give you my honest honest review on it right now, lifestyle. Um, like I said earlier in the previous post, this wasn't a paid advertisement or anything like that at all. I just decided to hit up Kevin Jackson, the manager at um, Kia, and I said to him, say, yo, I'm rolling to Portland this weekend. Can I get one of the demo vehicles to get a review on it? And he said, sure, no problem. He's going to give me the 2023 Sorento. I said, all right, no problem. So when I actually picked up the vehicle, it's my first time driving a Kia, by the way, like first, first ever. And I said to myself, what do I, what, what can I expect from driving a Kia because I've never driven one. So most vehicles do well on smooth roads, right? So you know, you can carry on any highway. It's going to feel nice and comfortable. So the true test was what I would do is to put it through these Portland roads. I mean, I'm not driving through them fast or crazy or anything like that. But this is how you really know how, how rigid or how firm or soft the suspension is. So I can tell you so far and i had to call kevin and tell him the sorrento a lead for me right now in terms of a comfortable affordable sports utility vehicle you see me um what i like about it like what Pierre said earlier was the blind spot assist because a lot of times you're driving you kind of confused when you turn on your indicator the blind spot assist comes on as an additional camera and one other thing that must i forget i mentioned yeah is the fuel efficiency whoa Until how said, can we forget that we filled the tank up before we left kingston yep drove all the way down here yep. did some round town driving around and we the still left still full tank over three quarters so you guys are probably wondering what kind of engine comes in this car it's actually a 2.2 liter turbo diesel so you know i heard it earlier i was like i wonder if this is petrol but then i realized it was diesel and trust me like on a scale of 1 to 10 i would definitely give it maybe like a 8.5 out of 10 that's in my regard um i like the interior it's not cheaply done the vehicle drives exceptionally well especially on these jamaican roads and i mean portland is doing some road work right now i mean i tell you say yo it take on the road good so fans if you're looking to get a new suv yo you could put kia on your list of vehicles to go to trust me i'm not just telling you this i'm actually impressed by this vehicle so to the entire Kia family and the ATL Automotive family, big up, great vehicles, good brands that you guys are bringing out here. So I'm gonna close out this segment right now. Yeah, you Lifestyle, you see what I'm going right now? Yes, E63, you know, machine, so. We'll actually be doing a morph on this car, giving it a mad vibe again. So you don't know, this is a Loran machine, you know, so I want to know we have to add a mad color to it right now. So I'll show you the before of it, before I actually get started. And 
This should be after when we're done. What you say? You done the boss care? Long time. Alright. Alright, lifestyle. So, what's your vibe now? Woo! Knock you, okay? Right now it's yes, boss man. We're going to roll it out now. I'll pick up the. I'll pick up Lauren from the, the airport now. But, as you can see, very beautiful color. Trust me, nice machine. Like a full transformation. I'll give you some cinematics when I'm done. But I don't know, I just wanted to show you guys. Literally just finished it up. It's a E63. And um, let's do the cold start on it. So you can hear the cold start. couple times but it's too complicated okay yeah it's too complicated and I like and I like when I have the BMW I could have just do a, um, a quick flash tune and it good it's no, so. not easy so so you're trying though we know I'm gonna do it now it's fast enough yeah what time yeah. you think you can run well I don't know it's stop time that's probably stop time yeah probably it's not a four wheel drive not even know 605 break wake up break horsepower yeah mm, so minus 15 percent mm -hmm. you get a wheel horsepower so i think probably 11 or 10.9 or something like that for me the gate a little press still but you know so my mm. personal go. i mean <laughs> me know, you know you know i've got too hard you see me mm. yeah, but we can hold a vibe so i'll reach up on the road there so yeah man. she put to come back and carry what you mean dog i swear mm. yo <laughs> Yeah, I see it, man. Wow. What year is this again? 2018. 2018 E63. AMG, don't forget. AMG, that. don't forget the AMG. Yes, you mean. V8 by turbo. Yes, you mean. Crossing up. Can't me, I'll jump out of my seat, bro. That's it. question. From the BMW to this, I mean, it's two different, two different motors and stuff, levels. Mm. But um, what would you say the driving experience in the Benz versus the BMW is so far? All right, so I keep it real with you. But did I go buy an M5, right? Yeah. But are the same, the price them similar. Yeah. Right. The M5 is about a second faster than this. Okay. Because it's a lighter car. Yeah. While the BMW will sacrifice most of the luxury features to make for them care more sporty, mm -hmm. Benz no under that's so easy. Benz are gonna still give you the luxury, so the, the weight are gonna dead in the car. Yeah. You understand? Overstand. And yeah, so when we go comfort more than and them thing, it feel way more luxurious than the BMW. Okay. I swear. Yeah, the BMW is more sporty. Yeah. So no no ambership becomes still have two BMW. Yeah. You understand? So it's a more sporty car, fun car for driver and drift and you know them little thing yeah, yeah, yeah. But with this now, this gives you the executive class feeling. Uh, you see me? That's and, and word, with, man. with with the sports feeling at the same time. Yeah. And we can go rear wheel drive alone with this. Okay. Yeah, but once you got 80 km, the front wheel I got come on. Okay. Yeah, you can go in a um drift mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. But overall it's a good car bro. Me not, me not miss BMW more than just the fun or the burnout them you know the launch yeah, in them but yeah, we could yeah. have still we could have still buy a rear wheel drive bins and get them sun cross bro mm. and just to know it says i don't pipe your hat to it yeah man 
I'm not even I'm afraid. Because, yo, not, not their faith. Everything. Yeah. I got the dealer all the time to get apart. And, yeah, everything I fish ship on. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not things in advance. Like now I had this part already. Right. You know me as a man though. We always have parts. No, before. one thing we do, you always have your thing on hand because you yeah. can't bother wait. No, so I'm buying. Right now, if something go wrong for it, you're gonna want it right now. Yes, yeah, so I have the coil them already, which them say you're not gonna need for change. I have the Pedal to the metal, I say go. Yeah, pedal, pedal, pedal to the metal. <laughs> yeah man, it now nah, stop bro. Yeah, it's but like, I'm not here, bro. Like enough people don't know I mean, I'm gonna say this publicly now. Laura was the first person to actually inspire me to switch to BMW you know. I say that publicly because I never posted this before, but Lauren is the one that actually got us into rapping and switch me to BM to actually try BMW. I see the man I go make you buy a Benz now well, yeah. I'm going to buy a Benz now Yo, Jaja ja. But anyways, I love Benz so I, I, I hope you guys understand that as well Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a still love Benz and no offense to me Yeah, yeah no, it's just, it's just This is this not just your vibe right now Yeah You understand? Yeah, that that would, you're not going to go back You're yeah. not going to get an XP more I'm going to be my bill right now Toes now spore But I'm not That's the way you're drifting machine Yeah, but Drift I, I really just have built it for, for fun Because I just want to have a project car Yeah and we have an EG too, Honda, because you know, Honda we started, yeah. bro. Honda! <laughs> yeah. But um, for me, it's like, I have a love for cars, bro. Yeah. You know? And no we love, matter the yeah, brand. no matter the brand. Yeah, we can't, this Honda because of Deso is uh, the foundation. Yeah, and Deso, yeah. I know where you're from. Too. Yeah, Honda days. So, yeah, man, but the car, they make, make feeling how this feel. Yeah. And it's a modern car, I don't want to feel the thousand as for the old. Bima guys, an E36 and it's a 94. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid if you put that much power in it now. Rear wheel drive. So my mind just. This car comes with air suspension, right? Yeah, air suspension. Oh, my God. 
not even an ever brother, may I tell you. Can I see you, man? Yeah. You know what? We should I catch that? <laughs> we hear him do it. We yeah, hear him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Jaja, you just see no one to carry a man. Trust me. The M5 is not a lie. M5 nasty, see my one. Yeah, man, M5 is a man machine. Yeah. But Roman said this one built around M5. Too. Yes, but yeah, but the, 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 this and no, this is the S. The AMG, the, 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 we call it E63 AMG S. It was built around M5. Yes. A little bit more as well, like 10 more as well than this. We never say circuit because we never say dog at the boss man circuit but drag race we would have love to see this against the RS7 trust me I think it would be a good matchup Yeah lifestyle <laughs> so you don't know the vibe tell you just came from the airport a while ago with the boss and you saw the pools in the car what's your final remark? Remarkable bro. Yeah man, make sure I find a name for you bro. I swear. You. Yo, leave it in the comment section where I'm for name Mark. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah, lifestyle. So you know the vibe. Midnight. E63 right now. AMG. Good vibes. You see me? V8. Buy turbo. Machine. Close out the vlog now. Oh, you know? 